first of all, this was your first open workout. Yeah. Um, you seem to be having a lot of fun out there. Uh, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the, the feeling and the experience of, of going through that? I, for me, this is, is a dream. So I came here to bring happy to the UFC too. It's not just mad face. We need to show our technique with happiness because this is what I, we love to do. And we need to show this to the all public because they deserve this. And you're fighting Mackenzie Dern. Um, a lot of people are surprised about this matchup because she recently went through pregnancy and people didn't expect her to come back uh, this soon. Um, were you surprised when they offered you that name? No, not, not because they sent me this, not, this name before my fight with Emily against Emily, Emily. So for me it's good because Mackenzie was in the ranking. And I asked to the UFC at top 15, and they gave it to me! So, I'm enjoying the moment, I'm, I'm so happy to be here, and I hope I put all my heart in the cage to show to UFC I deserve to be here. So you working a lot of the ground game with your coach and everything, yeah. is that kind of a, a little tease? Are you wanting to go to the ground with Mackenzie and kind of test her there? Why not? Yeah. Nah, why not? I train everything. So I'm prepared for everything. I did a lot of Muay Thai, a lot of boxing, a lot of wrestling, a lot of judo, a lot of jiu-jitsu, a lot of English class. <laughs> so I'm prepared for everything. Um, are you worried at all about her making weight? No. no. If she does not make weight, it's good for me. Because, ne, it's good. But if she make the weight, it's good too. So I may worry about my weight and my fight. Would you say that you're the most difficult opponent she's had so far? Do you feel like you're kind of a level above anyone she's fought yet in MMA? Espera que eu não entendi, Kifo. Você se, você se considera o op a oponente mais difícil que ela já teve na vida dela? I don't know. Maybe her worst op opponent is the pregnancy. Maybe her the worst opponent was the make weight. I don't know. For me, my worst opponent was the Yuzada, the first time I signed with the UFC. My worst opponent was, was they, and I won. So for me, it's all happiness. <laughs> you, you, you had that Yuzada suspension, you got lifted yes. because of a tainted supplement. Um, how are you managing your career as far as like supplements and all that? Are you being extra careful now? Uh, for sure. No, always when I open our water i still looking like oh my goodness maybe have something but the usada give me all support they give me apps to sh to put the supplement so it's good to good to have this and i know you just touched a little bit on this but i, I want to talk about it a, okay. a little bit more um her jiu-jitsu you're a jiu-jitsu black belt as well um are you extremely comfortable going on the, on the ground with her is that something you'd like to, to test yes for sure we're not too but we are fighting MMA, not just Jiu-Jitsu. So we will see who do the best MMA on the ground. There's a lot of hype surrounding her. Do you take pride in kind of maybe coming in here and ending the hype train that is Mackenzie Dern? No, I think you. There's a lot of publicity, muita a lot of muita, é, muita visibility in her. You're excited to end this kind of de visibilidade, de atenção nela e botar em você? Yes! I want all the focus that like in me! <laughs> it's good this! I love it! And she's a big name. Um, uh -huh. Meeting her will, will definitely put you, you know, in the eyes of, of, of many as, as a contender in, in the division. Are you ready for that? Are you being kind of fast-tracked in, into, you know, uh, the, the top of the division? I mean, I'm being prepared since I'm a baby to, to come here and show to the world, no matter where you're from, no matter nothing. The only thing that matters if your heart, your courage, if you put this with all your love, all your passion in the cage, in the, all your training, you can beat the world. So I need to show this to the world because I don't want to be just a champion. I want to be an idol to the childs because they are our base. So if they look at me, oh, she do all this stuff right, and she can change her life, her family with a new car, a new, I don't know, 
with good stuffs. They can look to me and say, hmm, I can be like her. I, I don't need to be like the drug dealer inside the, my house. I can be like her. So this is my truly dream. What's the strawweight title or uh, fight, big fight on the top of this card? Who do you think wins between Joanna and Michelle? Joanna! So I saw her training, she trains a lot. And Joanna. Yeah, teammates, obviously. Yes, right? yes, yeah, yes. Are you, are you guys close? Not too much because I'm a little shy. Yes, really. I'm surprised I'm not red because I am. I am. So I am. I I like her. I think she deserves. Uh, it looks like you had probably took a lot of time to uh, to heal yeah. up that that cut on the right eye. Um, how much did that hinder you to be able to, to train? And is that still vulnerable? I mean, how are you? This. You don't you believe. I did this in judo, but it was not in train. Oh, I was, what was that? I might have missed it, I'm sorry. I think it I well, I did twelve years. I am yeah. I did this. I was playing with my friend and they met and the coach was, Oh let's go train and we when the coach said that he put his head in my eye and all of blood. Has it ever opened up an anime fight before? No. Just in judo. Judo, I did this in Mani. MMA, thank God I'm good.